Yeah, Betty Wicker lives in Charlotte, but her father lives in Sedalia. He has a history of strokes and earlier this month he had another one. He was waiting in the hospital to at 7 p.m. but didn't get treated until 3 in the morning. I need to talk to somebody because my dad may die sitting in that waiting room. While living in Charlotte, Betty Wicker had to stay in constant communication with family members trying to figure out why her father had to wait to be treated at Moses Cone Hospital in Greensboro. My dad has periodic times when he can just be sitting and his mouth twists. He will stroke out which is why she needed him to be looked at as soon as possible. Instead, they waited eight hours. Cone Health says there are multiple reasons why folks are having to wait. Along with COVID-19 patients, nursing staff shortages causes beds to not open as quickly. Cone Health also says they are also seeing more people with seasonal flu and RSV. There are other people too that are sick and they're their illnesses are just as important. Some of them are life and death type of things. Atrium Health Wake Forest Baptist also has patients experiencing long ED wait times. They are urging patients without serious injuries or health conditions to speak with someone virtually through their virtual care program. That can be accessed to tell you one, do you need to come to the emergency department right away? And if not, we can sometimes complete your care and help you without you even having to leave the safety of your home. Cone Health also has a telehealth option for those who do have non-emergency needs. But for those who do, they are urging people to not put off care, but to call 911.